Hey everybody, it's Angela here from it's free, it's you see.com. You have come to the right place if you are feeling stuck and lost and like you're not living up to your fullest potential. What I do is I help you get unstuck, thrive, and become unstoppable. Today I'm talking about how you can stop being a prisoner and start thriving. Let's, what is, what is even being a prisoner even mean? Well, first, first in my personal life, I thought that it meant that I was trapped to my corporate job, that I was always going to have to work according to somebody else's schedule. I was always going to get paid according to somebody else's belief of my worth. Um, I always felt like I couldn't do what I wanted and that I always had to do what other people wanted. And so I thought I was a prisoner to my corporate job. Well, then I realized that I actually wasn't prisoner to my corporate job. I was prisoner to myself, to my mind to my emotional body, to my physical body, to my mental my mental body. So I was just a prisoner of myself. And instead of letting myself thrive and instead of letting myself be who I wanted to be and follow my passion and my purpose and my mission, I kept myself prisoner and in this box because I felt like that was something that I was supposed to do, right? You should be doing this. You should be following the traditional route when realizing that I actually had a different purpose, I had a different mission, I had a different passion. And as I learned to break free from that prison, I learned that it wasn't my job, it was myself. Because I, I actually may have been able to stay in my corporate job and still thrive, right? It is all about your mindset, it is all about your emotion, it is all about being who you really are meant to be. But what did I do to come out of this prisoner state of mind? And these are the things that I want to actually give to you that will help you, that will help you stop being a prisoner and start thriving. And the first thing that I want you to do is start a self-care routine and start doing it daily. And you might be thinking this is kind of weird. The thing is, is that self-care is meant to keep us neutral. And I say meant to keep us neutral, and that just means when we are in an even level of energy so that we can quickly move through higher emotions or quickly move through um, lower emotions, like lower frequency emotions, right? If we're feeling crappy, we can move through them quicker. If we're feeling really high, we can be extra high of, of those emotions, right? So you want to make sure that you are having a self-care routine in place so that you are in a position to be neutral or you are in a position to respond to life rather than react. And yes, this might mean that you're going to go get nannies and petties and get your hair done and do that. However, it is not just about your physical body. Yes, your physical body is important, but it is also about your mental body, your emotional body, and your spiritual body. And I'm actually going to leave a link for you in the comments um, so that you can actually connect to a really in-depth self-care blog um, that will give you all these ideas on what you can do and how you can really take care of yourself. Now, it is directed towards if you're on lockdown, but it doesn't matter. This is all about self-care any other time, and self-care is vital. It is about being able to connect with yourself. It is about being able to respond to life so that when someone says something you don't necessarily agree with or you think is ignorant, you can just be like, I, you know, that's, that's who you are. I'm not triggered by this. I'm not taking this personally because I know who I am. So make sure that you put a self-care routine in place and you do it daily, right? You do it daily. It is about doing it daily. The second thing that I want you to do is I want you to start practicing gratitude on the regular. Um, and you can actually, if you're not really sure how to start doing this, I recommend writing in your journal. Um, if you follow me, you know I talk about journaling all the time. So, But if you have a journal, just write a list of the things that you're grateful for every single day. This is a game changer. I didn't realize how important practicing gratitude was until I started practicing it. Gratitude is huge because it totally reframes your mind to start focusing on the positive and things that you do have so that you can start thriving. Because when you start focusing on the things that are beautiful and amazing and things that you have to be grateful for your life, you're going to bring more of it in, putting you in a position to thrive. So start the gratitude list. 
If you read the list aloud afterwards, bonus points because it really does set the tone, especially if you do it in the morning as part of your self-care routine. The third thing that I want you to start doing is shifting your mindset. Now I know that this is a little bit difficult and I know that people talk about all, talk about this all the time, but mindset is vital to thrive, right? It is vital to, so that you can stop being a prisoner prisoner and start thriving. You have to shift your mindset so that you are focusing on opportunity, so that you are focusing on um, the positive, so that you are focusing on reframing, on learning, on growing, on healing, instead of my circumstances are X, Y, and Z. I can't do this because I'm X, Y, and Z. I want you to start focusing on the things that are positive and the things that you can control instead of the things that you really, they're out of your control. They're completely out of your, out of your realm of control. And when you start focusing on the things that can help you get to where you want to be, the more powerful you will become, the less prisoner-like you will be, and the more likely you are to thrive. So shift your mindset right this step. The fourth thing that I want you to do is figure out who you are at your core. A lot of the reason why we are actually in this prisoner state of being is because we have no idea who we actually are. We have been conditioned out of us to our core. It starts from the day that we are born. And I'm not saying that your parents don't know what they're doing or they didn't know what they were doing or that they were terrible parents. But what I'm saying is that we live in a society of conforming. And that means that if you are not doing something on schedule, if you're not doing something that your parents like, guess what? You are going to conform. You are going to do the things that your parents want you to do. And eventually you become conditioned out of the person that you were truly are or meant to be. And you have to go back and figure that out. So that means that you want to do some childhood work. That means that you want to connect with yourself at your core. That means that you might want to start questioning anything and everything and everyone that you come in contact with. Now, that doesn't mean to start, you know, these crazy conversations or these arguments. It just means to question what it is that you're being told. Figure out what it is that you like and dislike. Start speaking in your truth. Start speaking up when you think something is wrong. Those are those are the ways that you can start connecting to yourself at your core so that you can stop being a prisoner. And again, a lot of the reason why we are prisoners to ourselves is because we have no idea of who we are and we're just walking around blindly thinking that we know who we are when really we don't have any idea. And that causes that causes the imprisonment, that causes the brainwash, that causes us to just do things and be concerned about what other people are saying and doing and thinking about us, right? So figure out who you are at your core. The fifth thing that you want to do is figure out your purpose so that you can embody it. A lot of us think that our purpose is supposed to be this grand vision of our life. Um, I think that's wrong. Uh, our purpose is something that we are meant to embody in our lives and live by every single day. So for me, for example, I am meant to embody freedom. And that means that I speak in a graceful manner. That means that I hold people in grace. I hold myself in grace. And that just means that I say and do things that acknowledge and honor the other person, but also acknowledge and honor myself. So, you know, everything that I do is all about whether or not I'm going to live in this freedom and in this state of being. You've got to figure out what it, your purpose is. If you have no idea where to start, I want you to go to genekeys.com and type in your information and get your free profile. And it will seriously tell you what your purpose is and what you are meant to embody there. So do that. Find your purpose because this really will start being a driving force of who you are. Look, I know that being a prisoner sounds like uh, I, you know, I'm, I am trapped to a job. I have to be at this job. I have to work for somebody else. I have to do these things. Really, it's not your job. It's you that you are in prison to. And there are ways that you can let go of being a prisoner and start thriving. And the first thing that you can do is you have to get into the habit of self-care and again, this is about being neutral, and I'm going to leave a blog for you that is all in depth. The second thing that I want you to do is I want you to start practicing gratitude on a regular basis. Start with a list. The third thing that you can do is shift your mindset. This really is powerful so that you can start seeing opportunity and solutions rather than problems and everything else that is going wrong. 
The fourth thing that I want you to do is figure out who you are to your core because most of us have no idea and that's really why we are imprisoned by ourselves. The fifth thing that I want you to do is figure out your purpose and this is meant to be what you embody not this grand scale of things. It is meant to be what you embody. If you don't know what that is, start by going to jinkies.com. Okay, I'm not affiliate. I know I'm just saying this. And it will give you a little synopsis of what your purpose is. There's a free profile that you just fill out and it will get you there. Look, being a prisoner to yourself is one of the most dangerous things that you can experience because it creates anxiety and it creates depression. And I know that that might ruffle some feathers, but that's just part of the reality. Now, that's not all of what that is, but it is part of it. You want to let go of the prison that you have built for yourself so that you can thrive. And with these five things that I have just provided you, you can start today. You can start now. Stop being a prisoner and start thriving. Your time is now. If you are feeling really stuck with this and you feel like you can't move forward, feel free to contact me of any of the information below so that I can support you. Um, again, my name is Angela. I'm the founder of Esprit.com. If you resonated with this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Until next time, I appreciate you being here and see you later.